breaking news of the Kyron Horman case. The sheriff investigating little Kyron's disappearance, speaking right now at a last-minute news conference. Kyron vanished from his school three months ago. His stepmother, Terry Horman, remains under that cloud of suspicion, but she has never been named a suspect. Let us go right now to the announcement that they are establishing a task force, a special task force, to try to ramp up this investigation into what happened to this child. Let's listen in. She commented that she commented and meant <clears throat> that we fit this with detectives that are supported by other agencies, uh, that we have a certain number of our own investigators that are dedicated to this investigation, and that we are now looking at target areas, target courses in the course of this investigation. It's no longer as broad as it was originally. We've developed enough, we've closed enough doors in the course of this investigation to bring it down to a scale that we can target specific elements that we need to bring a successful conclusion to this. So a task force concept, one, is fiscally responsible. We are dedicating specific types of resources and only a specific number. It no longer has to be as broad as it was originally and it's going to help support the conclusion towards this investigation. That was a comment I've made. That was the business plan that I've looked at. Back on Friday, I had a full briefing from not only the DA's office, but from our investigators. I now have a clear understanding of what the scope and where this investigation is at to date. And this, I believe, is a sound process for this investigation. I've got right now the resources within the Multnomah County Sheriff's Office that have been dedicated to it, have, have been, it's been a great number of personnel assigned. Our investigations, uh, the, the commitment we have to the community has, has suffered because of what has been dedicated and how we've worked this investigation fluidly. And it's reached the point now that I've got to release these investigators back to their normal tasks. I've got to release those that have been dedicated from our patrol division back to their normal tasks. We've got to pick up business in what is expected of us by the community. A task force is the only concept that can be utilized where we're, we've got resources, we're continuing the, the investigation. The investigation is moving in a very successful fashion and it is moving in a direction that I would expect. And now we can start targeting those areas that we really need to concentrate on to bring it to its conclusion. Does everybody have any questions? Officers, the sheriff actually there from the county investigating the disappearance of Kyron Horman, announcing the creation of a task force that could include the FBI, but also saying that essentially he has to take some of the officers uh, in his unit back to their regular function because there were other things happening in that community that need to be addressed. I want to go straight to Mike Brooks, HLN law enforcement analyst. Give us the analysis of this. Is this ramping up the investigation or scaling it back? I can't hear you, okay, Jake. Victoria I Taft. Victoria Taft, is this ramping up the investigation or is this scaling it back? Is this good news for finding Kyron or is it bad news? He's trying to make it sound like it's good news, and I hope he's right. I hope this is a more efficient way in which to find the child. I hope that they bring more pressure to bear on the investigation and chase down all the leads that they have. He seems to indicate they've winnowed it down. That being said, he clearly has his eye on the quote-unquote business plan to which he just referred, and he means to say that this is costing Multnomah County too much money. They want to share the pain in terms of the money that will be spent and spread over all sorts of different agencies, and that's what they're doing here. This is a concern about money. This is a county that is in def that's in uh, you know very difficult financial times. They're floating bonds for libraries and all sorts of things. They're already supposed to be paying for. This has set them back. It's about a half a million dollars so far. And Victoria, wow. I mean, and uh, I think Victoria is absolutely right, Jane. And I think it also has to do with case management. It also has to do with resources. So yeah, you're going to get state state resources, other counties, the FBI, and it sounds like he's coming. They're coming down to a conclusion on this. So that's why I think they've had that's basically so. a but, task force took all to get all this whole time, you know, but what does this mean? We still don't know for sure. If you had to say you, you your gut is good. Is this good news for finding Kyron or bad news? What would you say, Mike? 
Uh, I think it's good news for bringing this to some kind of conclusion. Whether it is going to be good news of finding tyrants, we still can't really say. All right, we're going to say on Jim, top of this. One last comment. Go ahead. Oh, thanks, Jane. I appreciate it. The parents of Kyron Horman. Uh, Desiree Young and uh, Kane Horman did not know that they were scaling back this, the investigation, nor did they uh, understand that there was going to be any change in the investigation. They found out from a reporter from Channel 12 in Portland while they were waiting uh, to come back from Chicago after taping the Oprah Winfrey show. So they didn't even know. Well, that's uh, a little disturbing, Victoria. You'd it think is. that they would call, since the police have been accused of using the parents as a mouthpiece and leaking all sorts of incriminating information about Terry Horman to the media through the parents, you'd think they'd at least let them know, hey, we're going to hold a news conference and we're going to announce a change in the investigation, Victoria. Yeah, you talk, you talk about case management. That's what uh, Mike referred to. What about message management? This is a, a sheriff that's only the second time we've seen him during this investigation. He's not spoken to the media. He doesn't exactly have a lot of experience doing that. And I think that showed today. That is Terry Horman, the redhead you see right there, who is not named uh, a suspect or a person of interest, but she is clearly, clearly the focus of the investigation. Last question, Victoria Tapp, before we move on to more breaking news. Sure. When are the biological parents of missing Kyron Horman going to appear on Oprah? They taped it already? Yeah, they taped it today, as I understand it, and it will be on tomorrow. It, it's destined for tomorrow, Thursday. All right, well, we're going to bring you the very latest on little Kyron, missing Kyron's parents appearing on Oprah tomorrow. So uh, tune into that here on Issues. You will hear exactly what the parents have to say. And again, breaking news, the uh, sheriff's office announcing that they are now creating a task force, but at the same time, they're reassigning a lot of the uh, officers who've been focused exclusively on finding this child back to their regular assignments. Now to more breaking As soon as the uh, press conference in full becomes available, I will uh, post it on my channel.